Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant, and today I want to go a little bit deeper into tripods, in particular the uh, Cartoni 8 SDS, which we took on the road with us through New Hampshire, Maine, and Eastern Long Island a couple of weeks ago. Bottom line, the 8 SDS, 8 signifying both the particular fluid head model number that comes with the kit and its maximum payload in kilos, uh, SDS standing for the Smart Deployment System Sticks and Spreader, is elegant. Lightweight for what it is, hold that thought. And most importantly, the fastest setup and takedown dedicated video set of sticks I've ever used. I mean, I really don't want to give it back. But let's put this into perspective because like camera bags, many of us are constantly in search of that one mythical tripod that will do it all. The uh, unicorn, which is why we have so many of them. Let's start with the 8 SDS's legs and spreader because that's where the real innovations lie. The sticks themselves are two-stage, three-section, beautifully finished carbon fiber, allowing the 8 to go both higher and lower than the one-stage, two-section aluminum Cartona Focus HD kit I bought more than a decade ago and still use to this very day. The SDS bowl, unlike my 100 millimeter, is 75, and that's fine. It's a better match to today's smaller hybrid DSLRs and mirrorless cameras, along with smaller, dedicated, interchangeable lens video cameras. Payload, a healthy 17 plus pounds converted to Imperial, but that gives up uh, eight pounds to the HD. The rubber foot design, definitely an upgrade over the Focus HD, very reminiscent of the Sockler dual spike rubber strap implementation. What is new is that Cartoni has been able to maintain the single release lever at the top of the sticks for both stages in all three sections. Or conversely, you can think of it this way. They've done away with the usual second set of release levers, yay, of a two-stage system so you can do this. They've reimagined the mid-level spreader to allow it to extend its horizontal travel while simultaneously eliminating the futzing of loosening or tightening the spreader with knobs so you can do this. They've included a leash so that taken all together you can do this. It goes higher and lower, packs smaller, and is faster than the Focus HD, my previous benchmark. Oh baby. Now, the fluid head is just what you'd expect from Cartoni, buttery smooth using continuously adjustable knobs for pan, tilt, and counterbalance rather than click detents. Um, plus or minus 90 degree vertical tilt, a very grippable pan drag setting. Uh, Left or right switchable, adjustable, rosette attached handle. A spirit level, although it is not battery powered and therefore not lit. And to be candid, locking levers I wish were just a little bit larger because otherwise they can be a little bit fiddly when you really need purchase for tightening or loosening. Which is to say it's very much like the Cartoni Focus HD I already own. The quick release plate and release mechanism have minor but Good updates, though the setup on my older Cartoni was already excellent. Um, in any event, the tightening and locking levers remain below the plane of the plate, so there's never any need to futz with them. You know what I'm talking about? You have a lever, you need to pull it out, turn it down, and then you ratchet it. Uh, I prefer the Euro style, what they call Euro style, quick release plates available on the larger Cartonis, the Delta and Gamma series, the Focus 12, 18, and 22, uh, also available on certain models of Sockler and Succeed. While we're on knits, I also think that the little rubber straps that the feet use to hold the sticks together while moving to your next shot, though they do the job and do it well, are a little bit more difficult to nail down to secure than the ones on the Cartoni I already have. And, at least when the tripod is fully collapsed, not quite as elegant or fast as Sockler and Vinton's magnet solution in their new Flotex, which I, I do want to try out. 
hold that thought as well. Finally, I noticed a little rubber plastic flashing, easily removable, and in the end, who cares because we're going to knock our tripods uh, about anyway, but it seems a little bit out of place on a two grand tripod. Uh, none of which prevent me from making this my new favorite tripod, having supplanted the half the price and very softly rest Succeed Reach Plus One. And though I'm not quite sure why, uh, sure why, I like the fact that it's made in Italy. Is it pedigree, story, or just full employment for locals? I don't know. But the thing of it is, what I really, really, really want is a unicorn. The stability, speed, payload, and smoothness of the 8 SDS. The compactness, finish, and two-position leg locking of the Gitzo. The Euro-style uh, plate and larger locking levers of the Succeed. Maybe even its click stops. I kind of like that. The maximum and minimum heights and horizontal reach of the Benbow. Maybe even the storied past of an original Tilt-All. All for the price of what for years was my favorite and underrated little Coleman 2101. But unicorns aren't real. I'm not that piggy, and in the real world of paid work, where a new era of smaller cameras roam, like Canon 5Ds, C100s, 300s, 500s, GH4s, 5s, and now EVA1s, Sony A6, 7, and 9 series, the FS5s, and maybe soon Nikon D850, the 8 SDS is hard to beat. Though, the new Flowtech tripods from Sockler and Fenton, the closest competitors to the 8 SDS in terms of concept, price, specs, and capability, are definitely worth a look, too. If you like what you've seen here today, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, join the conversation below. What an incredible YouTube audience. Share, add to a playlist, consider supporting our work by using our no cost to you affiliate links, which are now working in over half a dozen countries, or even making a direct contribution via the PayPal link below. We thank you for it. For Three Blind Men and an Elephant, I'm Hugh Brownstone. See you next time.